we've been working with Wasteless and Rise to make an impact closing the loop of circular economy, tackling one of the most urgent problems, food waste. We are a food technology startup that takes organic by products and converts them into ingredients. And our first product is a super flour. This super flour is made with poor Spain grain. Wasteless is a startup that is reducing food waste in supermarkets by uh, pricing differently uh, products with a different expiration date and applying dynamic pricing based on supply and demand behavior. Okay, so um, I invite here on stage uh, two representatives from these two companies. David Katt, Vice President Business Development of Wasteless. Please join us. And Abe De La Rosa, Sales Project Manager from RISE. Good morning. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, David, I let you the scene. Yeah, please. And I would like to have a clicker. Ah, yes. You should well. have already one. Yeah. The clicker, please. It's coming. Great. <laughs> There's no time to waste. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. yes, here's your clicker. Thank you. Good morning, thank everyone. You. And uh, first of all, uh, a big thank you uh, to Deloitte and the, and the Food Tech uh, Accelerator. It's amazing to be here. I'm very happy that Yossi Regev is uh, in the audience as well. So, uh, our CTO, so let's start. Wasteless is a very profitable solution to reducing food waste in supermarkets. Um, the clicker should be working. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, the, because there's a big problem. You all probably all know, because you're here at uh, Seed and Chips, you all know that 30% of all the food produced in the world is never consumed. 30% of all the food is wasteless, is wasted. And in retail, this means that 8% of all the food that goes into retail is never eaten, which also represents between 2.5% and 3.5% of retail sales. With 160,000 supermarkets in the world that are serving over a billion consumers, that's in a massive market. But also, if you, uh, if you actually look at it, and the, the clicker is really, really cool. Can you, uh, can you put it on the next slide, please? Um, also, uh, the preview, also, actually, if you look at it, the value of uh, food waste in retail is double the profits. So actually, if they start selling products rather than wasting it, they can become a lot more profitable. The way we do it is very, very simple to the consumer because we show a lower price for the product with the shortest expiration date. Because now if you go into retail, you have two products, one with a long and one with a short expiration date. You pick the longer one because it has a higher perceived value. We address the right value at the right time with our uh, um, uh, artificial intelligence that is based on reinforcement learning. If you want to learn more about it, ask Yossi because uh, he's one of the world's experts on it. We integrate with the, uh, with the POS, so we also know what goes out of the supermarket. And the step before that, which is why we're so happy that, we, uh, that we're working with Amadori, is that we replaced the barcode that you all know with a GS1 data bar. So in the product, on the item level, the, um, the expiration date is actually included. And this is very successful. Last year, we did this in Spain. And uh, there we, uh, we managed to reduce their food waste of DIA, one of the biggest discounters in the world. Uh, on specific products, we reduced their waste by a third. But most importantly for them is that we increase the revenue on the category by over 6%. We have ongoing projects in the Netherlands as well as, uh, uh, as here because if we go to the next slide, you will see that we actually, and th you're, this is a world premiere, so uh, count yourself uh, happy. This is a, uh, we're telling you for the first time that uh, very, very early results, but at Iper, together with Amadori, we managed to reduce food waste on the poultry that we did by almost 90%, but we also managed to increase revenues by more than a quarter. And those are really 
the data that we need if we want to save the planet from the, from the disastrous results that food waste are wreaking, uh, the havoc it's wreaking on the, on the planet. We'll go to the next slide. Uh, our business model is very simple. We're a software as a service. We uh, give supermarkets a uh, ROI of between three to 400%. Uh, let me repeat that, three to 400%. So it's, there's a real genuine ROI. Uh, we charge a one-time integration fee, one time, meaning that if a retailer starts it in one single uh, shop, it's integrated. If they then want to scale it up, it's, uh, it's just as easy as flicking on the switch because it's integrated already. We see that it's a huge market. It's a market of uh, over 2 billion uh, euros uh, and potentially even larger. Now, obviously, we're not doing this alone. And I, I loved how uh, uh, already Deloitte mentioned that the food system is long, it's difficult, it requires a lot of partners, it basically requires an ecosystem. The ecosystem we uh, are getting together around the retailer includes suppliers, includes their technology companies, includes uh, brain trusts like, uh, like Refed, uh, and, and obviously we're champion 12.3, uh, so I urge you all to also take the extra step in your industry to, uh, to eradicate food waste. I'll go on to, uh, to, the, to the penultimate slide, because food waste, if we reduce it, we can reduce uh, CO2 emissions tremendously. Wasteless seas that we can reduce about 400 megatons in the world, which is uh, basically the annual output of the country of Italy. And we're just a team of 15. Imagine what you, all of you within your companies can do as well. So that's uh, really what we're, uh, uh, what we're trying to, uh, to get you uh, to, uh, to get to. Last slide. Um, we, uh, we're uh, in Europe now, we're going to the US and we invite you to, uh, to take the journey with us. We're a team of retail experts, uh, data scientists, and really we want you to come and see in Ipar Portello how we are taking a small step that's gonna have a huge impact on the world. Thank you so much, and uh, please come to Ipar Portela with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David Katz. Abe De La Rosa, please come. Thank you. Also, Abe will tell us about rice. It's working. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abraham De La Rosa with Rice Products, and I'm here to share with you how we can turn food waste back into food. Next slide. Can you go to, oh. How many times have you gotten home after a long day of work and all you wanted to do was have a beer? But have you ever stopped and wondered what it actually takes to make that beer? For every six beers produced, half a kilogram of barley is thrown away. In fact, the US industry alone discards two million tons of used barley. This used barley is also known as brewer spent grain. It can cost the industry half a billion dollars in weight disposal fees. And what a lot of people don't know, it that's uh, used barley is actually um, a great byproduct, rich in fiber and in protein. And when processed correctly, it can feed a population of over 18 million people. This is where rice comes in. Next slide. We work with the breweries to, connect, to collect the brewer's spent grain. And instead of disposing of it, if you click, please. Through our patent pending process, we transform it into a rich, sustainable flour. This flour is then sold to food manufacturers and bakeries, who then transform it into a vast array of new products, such as cookies or bread, for example. Our process is simple and efficient, and it can be used for other byproducts as well. One very key important feature about our process is that we do not use any chemicals. Therefore, by the time we are done processing the byproduct, we end up with an all-natural ingredient that can be reshaped in any way that you want. Next slide, please. Rice flour targets every market trend and is what food manufacturers are looking for. It has a very unique flavor, but also great nutritional value. It contains 12 times the fiber, two times the protein, and one third of the carbohydrates when compared to regular all-purpose flour. Next slide, please. Although the flour market has been stagnant in recent years, rice flour falls under the category of functional flours. This represents a huge opportunity since this section of the market is expected to grow at a 7% rate during the upcoming year. Our goal is to become the leaders in the category of upcycling flowers. Next slide. 
Throughout the years, we've been able to develop a network of partners back in New York that in involve about 10 industrial partners as well as 25 industrial customers. We've also had the, had the opportunity to work with companies such as Kellogg and Anisher Bush to develop functional products. Thanks to the accelerator, click please, we were able to expand these partnerships and assess our industrial scalability while also discovering the Italian market through a consumer end approach. Next slide. We were also able, click, to partner with 20 new different breweries, collect 250 kilograms of brewer spent grain and transform it back into flour and use that flour to develop over 30 new different products. We were able to test our flour at different particle sizes, textures, mixtures, and um, all of this, again, processed here in Italy. Next slide, please. We are not a project, but a sustainable company. Last year, we were able to generate over $100,000 in revenues. And this year, we were able to quadruple our production capacity, cut our operational cost in half, all of this, and no capital expenditure. We're looking to continue to grow, and we're looking for the right partner. Click, please. A 1.4 million euro investment will allow us to open a new facility that can produce five tons of flour each week. This will allow us to expand our market share while meeting the demands of new industrial customers. More importantly, we will also have an economical, social, and environmental impact since we will be able to relocate some of that brewer spent grain that was destined to go into the landfills and transform it back into a useful ingredient. Click, please. Next. Rice product is composed of a team with great skills, all of us believing that we can transform byproducts into ingredients that can feed people again. Click. If you would like to learn more about what Rice is currently doing, you can contact us in the information above, visit us on our website, or also stop by our table outside from here where we actually had some products with the flour that we were able to produce here so you can taste how rice tastes like. I thank you for your time, and I really hope that we can fight food waste together. Thank you. Thank you, Aid De La Rosa. So if you want more information about um, our two wasteless and uh, rice, uh, you can find outside here some desks where you can get all the information, but some information about their experience and their way of working, their projects. So we can uh, get it from uh, the companies, uh, the corporates, which uh, collaborated with them during this year. I will start from Mr. Gentile from Finiper. If you can tell us in few words the impact uh, of the dynamic uh, pricing solution installed with Wasteless uh, had on the store operations and the client experience. I want to start saying that uh, Wasteless represents exactly what I have in my mind when I talk about innovation because sometimes innovation is gadgeting, is what I call gadgeting. But Wasteless represents something that is uh, simple for the customer, useful for the distributor, and um, it's something that can be done only with technology. So the technology has uh, an enable to, to new way to reach some goal, that in this case is to reduce the, the waste of food. And what is, um, what is good if you come to the, to the Portello to, to, to visit the, this, uh, this pilot, that for the moment is the pilot with, uh, with Amadori, is the behavior of the customer that is, um, that is changed without any communication. This was impressive because um, we just show two different prices one for the items that expire by a date, and one for items that expire after a date. And the customer automatically changed the behavior, moving from an approach to look for the longest expiration date items to an approach in which if look for an item with a discount. And lots of people try to, to tell me, OK, but we do already that but um, they are not doing the same thing because this is a smart dynamic pricing that avoid that you reach the last day and you discount the 50% and you are able to save margin, to recovery margin, 
by discounting uh, in a progressive way the items depending on uh, the stock that you have per expiration date, uh, giving uh, a premium as a discount that could be very small at the beginning of the, uh, when the items reach the, the expiration date to the customer. So uh, it's impressive uh, how it is simple and how the customer changes the behavior. Great. Great, thank you. And uh, Serial Docs had the opportunity to collaborate with RISE. Mr. Fanin, you work with RISE founders to assess the industrial scalability of their solutions. So what were your takeaways about working with a startup? Okay, well, um, working with startups has been a, an enriching experience, but also challenging for us. So for that, I want to say thank you for, to the Serial Docs team helping me and supporting me in this, uh, in this program. My most important takeaways from, uh, from working with startups is that we, as a corporate, we need to be more faster uh, in order to stay at the same pace of the startups because they try to push us in uh, working faster and faster in order to develop their solution that we find uh, really interesting. For example, RISE can help to reduce uh, uh, the waste of the spent grain and use uh, in uh, more high-value um, products. So we need to be faster in order to work uh, better with startups. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Fanin. So now we can move to the second trend uh, uh, that was involved in the food accelerator. It is 